Pony players. Rob it here. Sooner than we expected, we have another Enma Budokai. I've already released a video on the latest Enma SSS rank, but let's take a look at the Budokai event. We've got a new great legend in the Budokai Gasha. Darwin's here, and he's a heartful SS rank. As an all attacker, he's great against multiple enemies, and he also has a special bonus when battling Space Time Enma. There's a new banner that's debuting along with this event that shows all yokai available to befriend. It's pretty cool as it shows them all and where you can get them. Most of these guys are from the tournament, but two are new score attack bosses, one for this week and one for the next week. Let's take a look at the Budokai Gasha. First we have the Darwin Biography, and then we have the Columbus Biography, Last Bushinyan Pass, and Kurikoma Pass. We have a few SS ranks, and then the first S rank is Mezu, who is new for the event. That's followed by a diverse selection of yokai from other events, but Darwin and Mezu are the main attractions. Of course, we're going to throw a ton of Y money at this thing, but in the first 10 cranks, Darwin's biography appears. At this point, I assume the event is going to be amazingly easy for me. Spoiler alert, it doesn't turn out that way. We've got a book, let's use it. Why do you think humans evolve? It's important to ask questions. Let's think about evolution with a battle. Darwin's clearly throwing that survival of the fittest theory at us, so let's show him what we've got. He eats pizza, and we've got a ton of it, especially the weird star-shaped pizza. This is my now standard befriending team. I'm going to use a bunch of befriending ultimates, and I'm going to let my health run out to get more after the continue. Theoretically, the continue doesn't impact anything, but I don't really know. I get into fever again, and I'm actually a little impatient, so I just go with it. Sometimes you just have to go with it. Chakarina finishes it out, and... The only thing that evolves from this battle is a holy exporb. It was a good battle. By the way, what do you think about evolution? Please come back here and let me hear your opinion. Oh, I'm gonna let him hear my opinion, for sure. I burned through another 500,000 Y money with no Mezu and no Darwin biography, so let's start the tournament. Talking, talking, talking. Martial arts tournament, talking, talking. Enma's such a big man, everyone loves him. Oh hey, I'm an SSS rank, but I'm not going to tell you my name. It's a surprise, etc, etc, etc. Alright, this is the part where they explain how the Budokai system works. I'm going to explain it to you in a minute, so we're going to zoom through. At the end is the important decision. You have to decide if you want to be in Yokodori mode, which involves stealing, or non-Yokodori mode. I have always just gone with Yokodori mode, but this time I'm going to try it without. In the tournament, we have four new yokai as potential rewards, and Hinotori is the top of the top. He's got a new soul ultimate and a skill that lets him revive when knocked out and start with part of his soul meter filled. It notes that Hinotori is especially helpful battling this new mystery SSS rank. Hint, it's space-time Enma. During the Budokai time tournament, you need to get eight special items for each new yokai in order to receive them as rewards. Items can be dropped by enemies or stolen during Yokodori battles. There's a special chance time which raises your chances during a single Yokodori battle. You can earn Yokodori tickets by advancing through rounds in the tournament, using event points, or buying them with real money. When in a Yokodori battle, Mezu provides a large bonus, Gozu and Enma Blade provide medium bonuses, and Belfry provides a small bonus. By earning points in the tournament, you have a chance at receiving the powerful new SSS rank, as well as other great prizes. During the tournament battles, Space Time Enma, Suki no Yami, and Rhinormus give a damage bonus. Mezu will give a bonus to defense, and Darwin will double your event points. Once you've got some of those event points, you can use them to buy rewards. Each reward is unlocked at a different round in the tournament. There are exporbs, yokai, skill books, soul secrets, and more. 
The tournament is a ladder format. Each time you fight a battle and win, you advance and face the next opponent in the ladder. If you lose, you'll have to start the round over. There are five battles to win in each round. The battles themselves are just like normal battles against single yokai. The yokai can either be special event yokai or bosses. Each time you advance around, the battles get harder, but they max out their difficulty at round 50. At the beginning, they're very easy, so there's not much to worry about, but at round 50, they can be devilishly difficult. There's an option to abandon a round, which is equivalent to losing it, if you either can't beat an enemy or if you don't want to advance. However, you won't get rewards for that round of the tournament, and you won't unlock certain rewards in the event shop. Most importantly, you only have a chance of seeing Spacetime Enma at the end of a round. The main thing you're doing is grinding these battles looking for item drops to get the special event yokai. Since I've chosen non-yokodori mode, any items I get I'll keep. If I were in yokodori mode, I could steal other people's items using yokodori tickets, and they could steal mine. More on that later. You can change from non-yokodori mode to yokodori mode, but you can't come back. I suggest most people use non-yokodori mode, certainly at least at the beginning. For finishing the round, I get a few prizes, including a yokodori ticket. During the last battle of the first round, I also get my first event item, a yellow rhinormous horn. Since the battles are just battles, I'm going to cut to the video of me getting each event item. You can get duplicates, and yellow is now doubled up. It won't be the last one. In fact, now I have four blue horns. While I'm trying to get items, Spacetime Enma shows up. I battle him, I lose. You can see full coverage of how to battle and beat Spacetime Enma in my separate video. Hino, Tori, and Darwin are the surefire ways to beat him, but there are a lot of other ways too. He shows up again, I lose again. I'm kinda sick of losing to him, so I spend another 400,000 in the Budokai Gasha. No Darwin biography, but I get Mezu. Mezu is a brave s rank single attacker and provides a defense boost in tournament battles. Another 300,000 in the Gasha, and there's my second Darwin pass. Let's go give him our opinion on evolution. Same befriender team, same deal. Sultimate, Sultimate, Sultimate. Continue, Sultimate, Sultimate, Knockout, and... Holy Exborb. Boy. Time to go wallow in defeat and get some more horns. So many duplicates. Alright, just a little bit more money in the Gasha. Let's say, 250,000? third Darwin biography. Let's do this. Bring it, old man. Oh yeah. You are so strong. This is a wondrous new discovery. Darwin is a heartful SS rank all attacker, the best all attacker by far, and a healer. Horns, horns, and more horns. They actually come pretty quickly, but expect to get a lot of duplicates. Drop rates in Yokodori mode are supposed to be higher, but there's risk involved with that. The last two drop into place, and that's all eight items. The seal is unlocked, and Rhinormous is ours. Rhinormous is a tough A-rank horizontal popper and gives a bonus to damage during tournament battles. Now that Rhinormous has been unlocked, we move on to Gozu's special items. So far, Gozu's items seem to be dropping with a lot fewer duplicates. Meanwhile, Spacetime Enma shows up, and now I have Darwin who gives a big defense bonus against him. I'm using an all Enma team in addition to Darwin, but I've got some other options for you in my Spacetime video. Additionally, there are some tricks you can use to be successful. I highly recommend watching it. Of course, I'm biased. No luck befriending, but then he shows up again. That's my third SSS rank and a big check mark on my list of things to do during this tournament. Spacetime Enma is an Enma Tribe SSS rank rearranger time-stopping link and attacker. 
Right after I beat Enma, I get my last item for Gozu and unlock the seal. Gozu is a brave s rank center popper that can combine Puni with Mezu like the KK Bros. It's taken me most of the first day to get these first two seals, Space Time Enma, and crank through 1.6 million Y money to get Darwin and Mezu. It's day two, and we're on to Suko Yami's necklaces, which may be dropping at the same rate, but quickly start a crazy amount of duplication. A seriously crazy amount of duplication. After I grind through 10 necklaces, it's almost another 11 hours and a total of 56 items before I unlock the seal on Suko Yami. Suko Yami is a shady S rank bottom popper. After grinding for a while, I get my first event item for Hinotori, the Green Crown. This is a milestone for me because I've made it this far in the tournament without stealing and I feel like I might as well switch to Yokodori mode. Might as well do it. What could go wrong? In order to switch to Yokodori mode, you hit up Peck Pocket, confirm your choice, and that's it. No going back now. In order to steal, you need to go to the Event Yokai's page, in this case Hinotori, and hit the yellow Yokodori button under whichever color item you'd like to try and steal. The next page then shows you a list of other players to steal from, which in this case is non-existent. You can press the bottom right button and it will refresh the list for you while the bottom left button will show you tips. Here's our first victim, let's go get that crown. You'll see on this screen your team and their strength, here a little over 22,000, based on their combined hit points, attack, and soul ultimate power. The battle plays out yokai by yokai, comparing tribes as well as giving out bonuses for the special yokai. I actually started out with less strength here, but my bonus yokai pushed me beyond the other team. Just like that, I've stolen my first crown. Now it's time to rinse and repeat with all the other crowns. The key thing to remember is that in yokodori mode, other players are also trying to steal from you. It doesn't matter if you're stealing, or even if the game is on they're going to try and steal from you, so you want to go as fast as you can. Found another player. Let's do this. And... oh boy. There's only one Enma I don't have, Enma Awoken, and apparently he's really strong on an all Enma team. Even with bonuses, I'm almost 2,000 points weaker. And I lost. No worry, I still have a huge pile of Yokodori tickets. It's back and forth for a long time. I'm winning some, I'm losing some. Those OP Enma teams are beating me even when I include King Enma. Enma Awoken is apparently just too powerful. That being said, there are just enough weaker teams that I'm slowly moving forward and I still have a lot of tickets. I've got 6 of 8 crowns and 24 Yokodori tickets left. This is totally doable. That's 7 of 8 crowns. Except, someone stole my green crown. Back to 6 of 8. I'm now barely finding anyone, and they all seem to have the OP Enma team. It's pretty nuts, and I'm down to 5 of 8 crowns. One thing I'm doing is trying to memorize the Japanese names of players I face and fail to beat. It's a waste trying to beat them again. Down to 5 of 8 crowns. Down to 4 of 8 crowns. Back up to 5 of 8 crowns. Down to 4 of 8 crowns. Only 8 Yokodori tickets left. I'm calling it. I failed. My strategy didn't work. I just didn't expect the OP Enma teams to be better than what I had. I've been stealing for an hour and a half. Just 30 minutes later, all of my crowns are gone. It's time to start grinding for more Yokodori tickets because I've bought all the store had. I played all the second half of yesterday and I've been up all night grinding. I saved up 26 Yokodori tickets and I'm at it again. This time I'm having a little better luck using a shady team with an event booster and sun god Enma, but I'm still running into OP Enma teams. I've stolen my way to 7 of 8 and I'm just trying to get that last crown. Still not really any crowns out there, so it's another hour and a half of Yokodori just searching for players, winning, and losing. Finally I found a player with a yellow crown, the only one I need, and it's looking promising. 
Although they've got a pretty good Enma team, they're using Slurpin. My bonus yokai pushed me ahead of them. That's a win. A big win. And someone stole my blue crown. I play another few battles, but I'm only losing and more crowns are being stolen. I'm out of Yokodori tickets. I've failed a second time. It's back to grinding. Woo! It's day five, let's do this. 36 Yokodori tickets. I've got my shady team. I'm pretty sure at this point that matches occur based on a range of strength points. I've tried strategies of using E-Rank Yokai, which you may have heard of, but I'm just not finding players. I don't think it has anything to do with rank, actually. It's just a question of how many strength points you have and whether there are similar players. I narrowly win my battle and go from there. Fast forward an hour and a half and I've still got 15 Yokodori tickets left and 6 of 8 items. Fast forward some more and I've got 7 of 8 items and 6 Yokodori tickets left. What can go wrong? I find someone with the light blue crown I need. They showed Dark God Enma in the center slot, but somehow when the battle starts, they're all low rank. I'm not too proud to take the easy win. I actually lose almost every tribe matchup and drop thousands of points, but still end up winning by 15,000. And someone stole my purple crown. So close two times. Two times. At this point, I'm out of Yokodori tickets again. I'm paying for them with real life money and I'm okay with that, they're only a little over a dollar each, but I'm losing every battle and my crowns are disappearing. It's four days later. I've been grinding non-stop except for sleep. I'm hoping that at this point more people are at the Hinotori stage, so there are more crowns to battle for. I've saved up almost 60 Yokodori tickets. I don't plan on trying again. I'm going to get Hinotori. Right. Now. I've also got a new strategy. Given that I believe they match up the bands on strength, dictated by the point total you see, I've actually lowered the strength of my team. What I've done is chose Mezu with the highest bonus, Gozu and Enma Blade with the medium bonuses, and then the two Hinoshin SS ranks given they have both really high attack and hit points. This lowers my overall score to a little over 16,000, down from 22,000. However, as soon as the bonuses kick in, I've got a little over 18,000 points. Since I've got less Enma on my team, I'm now fighting a lot more tribe battles individually, so it's important to look at what tribe the other team is showing in their center slot. I win three battles before I lose a fourth by a slim margin. A very slim margin. While it's not easy to find opponents, it's easier than it was with a high ranking team. I'm also not facing any OP Enma teams. I win two more and then lose another one. It's getting a little rougher. I'm going back and forth between winning and losing. Bottom line, I'm 6 of 8. I've got 45 Yokodori tickets left. Hinotori will be mine. I get the 7th crown, but another one is stolen. I lose, then win, and I'm back up to 7. I just need that last crown. One more crown and my 9 day quest is complete. I lose a bunch in a row, but I've still got my crowns. 39 Yokodori left and a team with Dark God Enma in the center slot. Is this the one? Let's check it out and see. I start a thousand points behind. After all the bonuses are applied, I'm still 300 points behind. The first battle is shady against Brave though, and now I'm 900 ahead. All the rest of their Yokai are Enma tribe, so there's no tribe advantage. This is it. I can't lose. The red crown is mine. Nothing's been stolen, and after nine days and frankly more grinding than I've ever done, it's Hinotori time. Hinotori is a brave SS rank auto popper in the mold of Waru Nolan. His skill is to rise again like the Phoenix if defeated and start with some of his soul meter already filled. Like Waru Nolan, you can continue to link while his ultimate progresses. Only time will tell if he was worth the grind. Before we end the video, there are three new yokai to be had in the event reward shop. Belfry is a shady A rank stunner.
Koshi Panda is an eerie sea rank stunner. Sinkeda is a charming B rank attack booster. I hope you enjoyed the video, it was a lot of work to get to this point. Subscribe to me on YouTube and Twitter for the latest information on Puni Puni and Wibble Wobble. Until the next video, good luck with the Budokai.